So we're talking about creatures that want to get you pregnant on the first date and they don't even buy you flowers first. What the fuck? follows the character of Ripley, the lone survivor of the first movie, who wakes up from hypersleep to find that those aliens are up to their old shenanigans again. This time she has the help of a team of marines, but they might not be enough. Now I'm well aware that Aliens is more of an action movie than horror. A lot of people will argue that technically the only horror movie in the entire series is the first Alien, but the Xenomorphs are still pretty terrifying. Just these black-skinned creatures that hide out in the dark exactly where you can't see them, but they can find you despite the fact that they have no eyes. They've got goddamn swords for tails, and you can't get any blood on you even if you manage to hurt one, because it'll leak right through your skin. So yeah, still pretty terrifying even when they're not in a horror movie. Damn, did it just get darker in here? It's almost as if something came up and I had to continue recording later in the day. Anyway, Aliens is arguably the last great movie to come out of this series. I mean, a lot of people like Prometheus. I find it fairly entertaining, but far from perfect. Um, I understand there's sort of a cult following for the director's cut of Alien 3, and I'm sure there are at least a handful of people out there who like AVP Requiem, maybe, but uh, it's pretty much uncontested. This film runs circles around those movies. As for the first one, I'm still trying to decide for myself which one I like more. Forgot to light a couple of things there. Anyway, um, what makes this movie stand out for me, is, aside from the action, is how memorable a lot of the characters are. Uh, the team of Marines that Ripley is introduced to in this film are a lot of fun and very likable for the most part. I will have to admit Bill Paxton's character kind of got on my nerves in a couple of scenes. Game over, man. Game over. Also, it's definitely easy to see why Sigourney Weaver won the award for Best Actress after this movie. Um, I like a lot of what her character goes through in this, even though some of it is pretty tragic. For example, the bond that her character forms with uh, this little girl in the movie is very genuine and believable, and it feels very much like the two characters save each other from a lifetime of depression. And yes, dear viewers, I am well aware of what happens to them in the third movie, which gives me all the more reason to pretend that movie never happened. By the way, for those of you who haven't seen this movie yet and have an issue with child actors, the little girl in Aliens does start off a little bit annoying, but uh, she does grow on you after a while. She's actually very likable. Also, I like how Ripley sort of has this prejudice in the movie um, against robotic people. After the one in the first alien didn't turn out to be so friendly. She has to work with yet another robot this time, so she's immediately hostile towards him. But as an audience member, you have to wonder whether this new robot really is as friendly as he seems. I mean, robots are different from people. They're like electric and stuff. There's really not much else for me to say about this movie, honestly. Um... I could touch on some of the amazing puppetry that was utilized during the final act, but if you are one of the few people who hasn't seen this movie yet, I want to avoid spoilers as much as possible. And if you've only seen the first Alien and you're one of those people who found it to be a little too slow burning for your taste, I'm using the term one of those people a little liberally in this video. But yeah, if you were bored by the first Alien, I promise this one has a much faster pace. It does rank higher on a pure entertainment scale. 
So if you're interested in seeing an action movie with awesome monsters and great characters in it, then this one does come recommended. And with that, I hope you all have a good one.